Good morning, everybody. Welcome to AADL Storytime. My name is Elizabeth, and I am happy to be joining you again this morning. Um, I'm in a new spot today. I was hoping that the lighting would be a little better, so hopefully you can see me all right. And we have some great stories for you today, as usual. Um, just a reminder, if you are playing the summer game, the code for today is silly sheep, and you'll see why that uh, makes sense as we get into the stories. But silly sheep is the code, and that is also always posted in the video description on YouTube if you need to check back and reference that and get that code. Anyway, we will get started, and of course we need to say hello to everyone. So, if I can see your hands. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Nice job. We have a couple more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Nice job, everybody. All right, can I see your fingers? Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a lift. Do clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them. Creepy, creepy, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Just like this, this, this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah! Nice job, everybody. Well, it's time to find out what our letter of the day is today. I have it right over here. And it is the very first letter of the alphabet. So if you know the alphabet, you probably know what it is. What is the first letter? What comes first? That's right, the letter A. We have the letter A today because we are keeping it simple. We have stories about animals. My colleague Lucy, who is also a storyteller, made some really fun new felts that I wanted to try out and they all have animals in them. And so I just grabbed some of them and I am excited to share some new to me stories about animals. And I hope that you like these stories too. 
So A is our letter today. A for animals. Put that over there. And before we get started, you know that we have to take our stretch. So let's take our big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Give yourself a hug. Reach down and tap your toe. Then tap your elbow. Oh, I kind of scratched myself. Tap your nose. Where's your nose? Tap your chin. And let's reach our arm across our body and then reach your other arm across your body. Maybe you can even reach both and feel a stretch in your back. And reach out wide again. Up tall again. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Ah, all right, let's get started with our first story today. And I have to get our felt board. Okay, everybody can see? Perfect. And this one is about penguins. Who doesn't love penguins? I think they're so funny. Well, one day, Pippa was visiting her grandma and Pippa loved penguins. Pippa's favorite animals were penguins. She loved the way that they waddled on the ice and the way they swam in the ocean and the way they could slide on their tummies. And every week when Pippa went to visit her grandma, they would read books about penguins and they would watch movies about penguins. And sometimes they would even visit the aquarium or the zoo to see real penguins. Well, one day after a trip to the aquarium, Pippa's grandma asked Pippa if she would like her to make her a penguin. And Pippa said, oh, yes, Grandma, I would love if you made me a penguin. So Pippa and her grandma searched through Grandma's basket of fabric. How about a penguin made from red fabric, said Grandma. Oh, and he only has one eye. That's not, he's supposed to have two eyes. That's silly, said Pippa. Penguins aren't red. They are black and white. Can you say that with me? Penguins aren't red. They are black and white. Well, next they found some turquoise fabric. How about a turquoise penguin, said Grandma. No, Grandma, said Pippa. Ready? Penguins aren't turquoise. They are black and white. So Pippa and Grandma kept looking. Next, Grandma found some beautiful yellow fabric. How about a yellow penguin, said Grandma. No, Grandma. Penguins aren't yellow. They are black and white. Well, Grandma was getting a little worried as there wasn't that much fabric left in the basket. They found some green fabric. <gasps> Who ever heard of a green penguin, Grandma? said Pippa. Penguins aren't green. They are black and white. Well, Grandma pulled out the last two pieces of fabric from the basket. She said, I don't suppose you'd like a purple penguin or a blue penguin? It's all the fabric that I have left. Pippa said, Grandma, penguins are not red. They're not turquoise. They're not yellow. They're not green. And they're definitely not purple or blue. They are black and white. And Grandma said, well, you know, Pippa, this is only a pretend penguin. But Pippa said, Grandma, the penguins 
I like best are black and white. It was time for Pippa to go home. And when they said goodbye, Grandma said, Pippa, I will keep looking. I'm sure I have some black and white fabric somewhere. And Grandma searched around. And sure enough, she found some. And the next week, Pippa came to Grand's house again. And Grand said, close your eyes. I have a surprise. Is it black and white? Asked Pippa. Yes, said Grandma. Does it waddle and slide on its tummy? Asked Pippa. Yes, said Grandma. Does it swim in the ocean? Asked Pippa. Yes, said Grandma. And she put a penguin into Pippa's hands. Pippa opened her eyes and she laughed and laughed and she said, Grandma, you are so silly. Penguins aren't red and they're not turquoise and they're not yellow or green or blue or purple and they really aren't black and white polka dotted. But I love you and I love my polka dot penguin. The end. Nice listening, everybody. Did you like that story? I think that one is funny. All right, give me just a second while I put these away. Want to be extra careful not to lose anything since Lucy made these. I'm going to put that poor penguin's eye in there. We'll glue it back on. All right, all set with that. Uh, let's see. I think we should do one more story before we do a little stretch because we have four stories today. So let's do this story. This story is about a bear who decides that he needs a new outfit for a party. One day, a bear went down to a store in town. A dance, said the bear. I'm going to a dance. What can I wear to be the best dressed bear? Bear met a fox and fox said, socks, get socks that are new. You can get one, or you can get two. <gasps> Look, said the bear. Look at me now. I'm the best dressed bear. Oh, wow. You can sing that with me if you want. We'll say it one more time. Look, said the bear. Look at me now. I'm the best dressed bear. Oh, wow. Not yet, called a kangaroo. Get a shoe. You can get one, or you can get, did I do it backwards? Maybe I did, oh yeah. You can get one, or you can get two. <gasps> Ready? Look, said the bear, just look at me now. I'm the best dressed bear. Oh, wow. Then bear ran into a very silly, Sheep. Not yet, said the sheep. Bah! You need to wear a shirt and tie to be the best dressed bear. A shirt and tie, are you sure, said bear. And the silly sheep said, I'm sure. Bah! So the bear got a shirt and a tie that was new. Is that better, asked Bear? Oh, yes, said the silly sheep. You look wonderful, you do. Look, said the bear, just look at me now. I'm the best dressed bear. Oh, wow. Not yet, called a goat. Get a coat with a tail. Look at this coat. You can get it on sale. So, the bear got the coat and he put it on and he looked in the mirror and he said, Oh, look, said the bear. Just look at me now. I'm the best dressed bear. Oh, wow. Not yet.
call the cats. You need a new hat. You cannot go like that without a hat. So, Bear got a hat. And he put it on. And he looked in the mirror and he said, Look, said the bear. Look at me now. I'm the best dressed bear. Oh, wow. I'm the best, said the bear. I'm the best I can be. I'm off to the dance so everyone can see. The animals all waved. Goodbye, have fun, said the fox and the kangaroo. Bye, said the silly sheep and the goat. Goodbye, called the cat. Then the bear left to go out the door, but everyone remembered there's just one thing more. What is Bear missing? And he thought and he said, Pants! When he got to the door, a best dressed bear needs something more. So he went to the dance in a new pair of pants. And everyone said, When the bear got there, look at that wonderful best dressed bear. The end. Nice job, everybody. I like that one, too. They're going to the dance. All right. We should probably stand up and move around just a little bit. Shake some of our wiggles out. And today, we are going to do... Eek. Um, let's see, what are we in the mood for? I think we should do the silly dance contest. That's how I used to end my story times at the library, but we'll do it in the middle today. So if you want to stand up and get ready, and we're going to do dance any way you want to, dance any way you please, dance any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Nice job. Can you jump? Jump any way you want to. Jump any way you please. Jump any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Good. Can you twist? Twist any way you want to. Twist any way you please. Twist any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you swim? It's been hot out. Maybe you want to go swimming. Swim any way you want to. Swim any way you please. Swim any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Nice job. Let's dance one more time. Dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Nice job, everybody. All right, let's sit back down. We have some more stories today. But first, can I see your fingers? I have ten fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. I can squeeze them tight. I can open them wide. I can wave them all around. I can make them all hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. All right, we're going to read a book next. And this is a cute little story called Duckies, Ducklings. And this is a good counting book. If you're working on learning to count, this is a fun one. Ducky was ready to take her ducklings for a swim. She looked around, but she could not find them. 
Oops. There we go. She searched by the shed, but she found only flower pots. But wait a second. What do we see here in the corner? That looks like a duckling. She looked below the apple tree, but she saw only apples. But what do we see over here? Near the roses, Ducky found only butterflies. There were no ducklings on the swing. Or under the cabbages. Do you see any ducklings? Or by the tomatoes. So Ducky waddled on. She looked among the sunflowers. Peered behind the trees. How many ducklings do you see now? And peeked among the strawberries, but she didn't see her ducklings. Then Ducky heard a tiny quack. She turned around. <gasps> there they were, ten little ducklings, all ready. <gasps> for a swim. Should we count them? Let's see, let's start on this page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. My favorite one is the one with the little floaty. <laughs> the end. All right, it is time for our last story. This one is called Clip Clop, and let me get organized here. We need our grass, and here is our horse. Nay! Who wants a ride? asked Mr. Horse. Meow, me please, says Cat, and she hops on. Clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop, clippity, clop. I want to ride too, please, Mr. Horse, says Dog. Up you get, says Mr. Horse, and Dog hops on. Clip, clop. Clippity clap, clip, clap, clippity clap. What about me? I want to ride too, please, Mr. Horse. Oink, oink, says Pig. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Clip, clap, clippity clap, clip, clap, clippity clap. Quack, quack, don't leave me behind, says Duck. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Clip, clap, clippity clap, clip, clap, clippity clap. Can you go a little faster, Mr. Horse? Ask the animals. Of course I can, says Mr. Horse, but make sure you hold on tight. Clip, clap, clippity clap. Faster! Clip-clap, clippy-clap! Faster! Clippy-clop, 
copy, 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 up the hill, down the hill. Whoa, stop, we're falling off, squeal the animals. So Mr. Horse skids to a halt. And duck, and pig, and dog, and cat fly through the air and land in the grass. Plop, 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 ploppity, plop. Oh dear, oh dear, oh deary me, said a worried Mr. Horse. And cat, and dog, and pig, and duck all cry, let's do it again. The end. Nice job with that one too, everybody. Oh, that's already in there. That actually comes from a book. This is Clip Clop. Uh, by Nicola Smee, and this is a board book that you can check out from the library if you want to read it at home. It's a cute one. And that concludes our story time for today. Thank you all for joining us for another story time, and uh, we hope to see you back next uh, next time for, for, for story time, 10 a.m. every weekday morning. And there are some live story times happening this summer, so make sure you check our events page on aadl.org to find out when those are announced and when they're happening. They're going to be outside at different library locations, so you want to make sure you bring a chair or something to sit on, and there'll be a tent up for shade. So, just wanted to make sure you all knew about that, and thank you for joining us today. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.